Hi, okay, today we're going to talk about working with exact measurements in Blender and I'm going to show you the best way I know how to do this. If you start out by deleting the cube and then shift A adding a plane and we can enter edit mode and press 2 to only select the edges uh, like that and then we just delete them and we have only one edge left and if you now try to extrude it we can press E and we can drag and but we can press Y and then we can enter a value and if I want it to be 12 if I enter 12 now it's going to make this piece 12 meters but I only maybe wanted it 12 centimeters but when you're talking about exact measurements often you really want to work in millimeters so this will not work or you can uh, if you want to you can uh, press point 12 and you get 12 centimeters but an even better way if if we undo this is to go to the scene and let's change this units to the length and I want this to be millimeters and if you try this again I press E and Y and I want this to be 12 centimeters that would be uh, 120 millimeters now I get the exact the way I want it uh, so if you try it again just E and instead of pressing Y you can just hold down your middle mouse button and drag and this piece I want to be 550 millimeters like that or another way to work with this is if we uh, activate snapping have this on increment snapping if you try to extrude now you can see it snaps on every uh, meter because that's the grid so we need to change this so we can go up here uh, the view overlay and change the scale to millimeters so this is one meter and if we I think we're only going to set it to centimeters so if we at 0.1 like that and if you try to extrude now and you can look up here when the values come how much you want it to how far you want it to go so you press E and Y if I want this to be 740 you just drag and it will snap so this is also a quite fast way to do it so if you try to add another measurement here maybe 380 in y like that okay so and then we can drag out this piece here uh, in x and i want this to be 410 like that great but uh, and now i realize that i don't want this edge uh, to be 740 uh, as I made it before so we need to change this and the easiest way I know how to do this is to go to edit preferences add-ons and look for the edit mesh tools and activate it when that's done you can go when you are in edit mode you can go to edit and fold down mesh tools and if you now go to edge tools you can go down to set edge length and as you can see this edge is 740 millimeters but I don't want it to be that so I want it to be 520 instead and we press ok and now that length is 520 but I need this edge to be straight so to solve that I just press G and Y and drag it but it's really hard to line up but now since we were working with Blender 4 you can just press B and you can say this point I want to align with this point and it's done another cool feature is that you can easily add a radius uh, or fill it so if we select this and this edge and then press fill it edge and here you can decide if you want uh, a radius or this is but I want a radius and here I can set the radius to my liking I want it to be something like that and here I can decide how many sides it will have uh, great and when that's done I just want to select this and press F so I have a face again like that okay and then we also may want to rotate this Part, we maybe want to make a bend over here so uh, 
the way I would solve this is to select that vertices and that vertices and let's just press J to join them and make a line here so I have a separate face here uh, and if I now I used to rotate it as it is around you see the rotating point isn't the correct one so to solve this just go into edge mode again press shift s cursor to select it and we get the cursor here and if we now go up here and uh, change the transfer pivoting point to go to the 3d cursor instead uh, and now we can select this face and if we now press r to rotate around y it rotates as we want it and you can see up in the left upper corner the degrees and i want it to be 25 like that so this is some ways that you can work with exact measurement in uh, blender thanks for watching and if you like stuff like this please subscribe and give this clip a like thanks bye